All right, so in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna show you how to take multiple devices and control them as one device. I got this question recently, and basically what it will do is create a new device that will have the same properties of your other devices, and then you just can change that one device and it will change all of your other devices that you set up. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video descriptions for everything you'll need to complete this task and check out the three steps to building the ultimate smart home. So the first thing you need to do is actually install the community installer. Now I already have a video on that, so I will leave that in the video description below. Just follow that video and it will be set up. Once you have it installed, it will show in your smart app section. So you can see that my community installer is already here. If I tap on that, it's going to open up. And then I just need to tap at the bottom where it says installer home. And then that's going to take me over to the community installer. All right, now once over in the community installer, you just need to go down the list all the way to the bottom. And what we're going to be installing is called Trend Setter. So let's tap on that. And then this will tell you a little bit about it. If we tap on the GitHub details, um, these are the GitHub details. If you wanted to manually add this to your SmartThings in the IDE, but what the community installer does is it's going to install all of this stuff right here that you see, and it's going to install it with everything that you need and not do anything that you shouldn't do. So this is really easy and fast to do. All you have to do is go down to the bottom and click on the green install button. And then it's going to go through and it's going to show you everything that it's doing and it's gonna start adding everything. All right, so you can see that everything is now installed and you just have to tap on done now and then tap done at the bottom. And now if we go to our smart app section, the trend setter will not show in our list yet. So what you need to do is go to the top of the smart app section, tap on the plus sign, and then we just need to go down and find trend setter. Now it will be in your custom section. So the first section is everything that's included in smart things by default. And the next stuff is everything that you added manually. So here you can see trend setter right here in the middle of my screen. So if I just tap on that, what we need to do is just create one automation. That way it will add it to our smart app section. So all we gotta do is tap on create group and then choose a device type. So you have a bunch of different options. So you have switch, dimmer, color temperature light, colorful light, colorful temperature light, power meter, and contact sensor. So if, say if you wanted to, let's just go switch. We'll choose switch and click on done. And then we're going to choose a name. All right, so I just chose Christmas lights because we have two sets of lights upstairs that turn on. And I just want to control them with one device. So now you just have to choose some switches. All right, so after you choose your two switches, just tap on done or as many switches as you want. You could actually choose all of these switches, tap on done. And then you would want to choose a name. So basically the first one is how it's going to show in the smart app. And then the second one at the bottom is the switch name. All right, so we have that done. And then we just tap on done at the bottom. And now you can see under our groups, it does have Christmas lights, which is what we just um, added. So let's just tap done there. And it will take us back out to our smart app section. And now in our smart app section, the trend setter will show here. So if we go into there, we have our Christmas lights, and then you can create more groups um, if you wanted to. Also, if you wanted to delete a group, so if we go into our Christmas lights again, um, that's right here. And if you wanted to delete that, you can just tap up here and hit delete. Um, we're just gonna leave that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done. 
what most people are asking for is how do I change a group of lights? Say I want to change all of my lights to blue or all of my lights to red um, all at the same time. So this is where this really comes in handy. So let's go ahead and click on create group. So device type, let's just do colorful light, tap on done. And I'm just going to do this as bar lights. All right, so we have bar lights there. And then we're just going to choose our bar lights. So we just tap off those three and tap done. So I'm just going to name that one master bar lights. Tap on done, tap on done again, and tap on done. All right, let's go over to our devices now. So when you go over to your home screen, just go all the way to the bottom. And what you're going to have is the stuff that we just added. So you can see Christmas lights are there and master bar lights are there as well. When you come in here, um, basically you have one device. And if you turn this to be on, then it will turn on the bar lights and it will turn on all three of them. And you can also change the dimmer here. Looks like it's going a little crazy. And then at the bottom, of course, you can change the colors. So if we just tap on blue, they will turn blue. And if we tap on red, they will turn red. And of course, you can do preset colors as well. And I'll just pull this down here. And if I hit save, then it will pop up in my recently used colors. So basically, that's the easiest way to control a group of devices that have the same functions. So um, back with our switch back here, if we come over to our Christmas lights, we go into this one, it's just an on off switch because it's a switch. Now, if we chose the dimmer switch, then we would also have the ability to dim as well. So it just depends on what device you choose. All right, so if I turn on the Christmas lights, it turns on both the Christmas light and the lights on our stairs. And when I turn them off, both of them turn off all at once. Also, these devices are added to SmartThings as a device, so they'll also be available in your Alexa app or Google app or whatever you're using for your voice control. So you'll have full control over them using your voice as well. So this is just an easy way to just group things together, and then you'll be able to control all of the settings of all of the devices that you add, all with one device. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I read all of your comments and I respond to every single comment. Also check out the other videos on the screen now and I will see you in the next video.